Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your WordPress admin username. So let's dive in. So to get started here, many times when you log in, you're going to be logging in through your website.com, .net, whatever it is, slash WP hyphen admin. And by default, you'll often see that admin is the username. Right now I have WP fundamentals for mine and I always recommend it being something else, but many times you're gonna have admin by default and you're gonna to wanna to change that to be something else. So if you were to also see over here, you can see that the blog post has the name WP fundamentals as who it's written by and you might wanna change that as well. So I'm gonna go over how to do that here. So if we just log in to the actual dashboard here, we can get started by going over to users and then add new. And the way that you basically change your admin username is by adding a new one and then deleting the old one. So here I'm just going to go and make an example where I use Tom as the username. And for the email, I'm just going to put support at wpwithtom.com. And if you want to fill out first name, last name, you can do that website. I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to copy this password right here that they've generated for us. And I'm going to paste it over into this notepad document. Make sure you have this because you're going to need this password or just set up one that you can easily remember. And then you can actually go and add the user. But first we're going to change the role. So what you want to do here is make this the administrator role and that gives them admin access. So I'm going to go and click add new user. And then we're going to be brought to this next page here. So since we're actually logged in as WP Fundamentals right here, I'm going to have to log out to add Tom as the default admin here. So I'm going to have to go here and log out. And then I'm going to have to log in with the username Tom. And again, I'll go and copy this password that it gave me here. And I'll log in with that. So if we paste it in, log in. Now we're in the area here in the dashboard. And if we go down to users and we click on that, now you can see we're logged in as Tom. It says howdy Tom up here. And now we can actually go and delete WP fundamentals or you'd want to delete admin in your case. So if I go and I click delete right here, it's going to bring me to this next page and it's going to say right here, what should be done with the content owned by this user? So for WP Fundamentals, I have one blog post, which is this one right here, this dummy post. And if I want it to be attributed to Tom, I'm going to click this, or you can click to delete all the content. Now, if you're not sure what you want to do here, I would recommend going with attribute all content to this new username because you don't want to lose all the content on your website. So I'm going to go and click confirm deletion. And now it has Tom right here is the only user left as an admin user. So when I log in in the future, I'm going to use Tom every time for this website. So if I went over here and I refresh the page, you can see that now it says development by Tom as the user who created this post. So really that wraps up the basics of how to change your WordPress admin username. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. And if you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more WordPress related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.